RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, and first in television, presents Transcribe, the Phil Harris, Alice Faye Show. For your enjoyment, here is the Phil Harris, Alice Faye Show, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Ann Whitfield, Walter Sharp and his music, and yours truly, Phil Foreman. The one thing that irks a woman is when her husband forgets an important occasion, especially when there's a gift involved. Most men simply admit that they forgot and say they're sorry, but not Phil Harris. He will admit to nothing. He'd rather do it the hard way and... But more about that later. First, a word from RCA Victor. Any experienced meal maker will tell you the biggest problem is getting everything ready at once. Now at last, RCA Estate has solved that problem with a range that makes timing easy because it has a separate cooking area for every cooking job. Your meat broils or barbecues in the barbecuer meat oven. Your casseroles, pies, biscuits bake in a second big oven. Don't worry about crowding. RCA Estate gives you balanced heat in every corner. Top side, you have four big units, plus the hideaway griddle. This griddle drains off fats, giving a distinctively different flavor to whole grilled meals. Sounds wonderful? Yes. And your dealer can show you many other features of the 1953 RCA Estate in either gas or electric, the range that's used by famous food authority, Duncan Hines. And now the stars of the RCA Victor program, Alice Fay and Bill Harris. <laughs> Today is Mother's Day, the one day in the year that is dedicated to mothers everywhere. On this day, loving children shower their mothers with affection and gifts. And as we look in on the Harris home, Alice has just been presented with a gift. Mother, how do you like the present we brought you? Oh, Alice, it's a lovely gift. It's sweet of you and Phyllis to buy me this, uh, this, uh... It's an electric food warmer. <laughs> well, it's very nice, but what made you think of buying me a food warmer? Well, we knew you needed it because Daddy is always saying your cooking isn't so hot. <laughs> oh, your daddy is such a card You like it, don't you, Mother? Oh, I love it, honey, but it's awfully expensive Where did you girls get the money? Well, I heard the boys in Daddy's band say Whenever they need money, they go to a hawk shop So, Phyllis and I went to a hawk shop Well, what did you hawk? Phyllis <laughs> Stop talking like your father and answer my question What did you hawk? Nothing, Mother. The man felt sorry for us and let us have it for the money we had. Well, that was sweet of him. And, Alice, I appreciate this gift, and I want There's you... more. I have a Mother's Day poem here that goes with it. Oh, how thoughtful. Read it to me. Uncle Elliot wrote it. Tear it up, burn it up, spray it, get it out of the house. <laughs> but it's real cute. I'll read it to you. <clears throat> you are the finest one of all, sturdy, graceful, and so tall. Your poise and beauty are truly great. You're the best-looking one at the starting gate. <laughs> starting gate? With your head held high and your mane aflow, you hug the rail and away you go. <laughs> we have the right to feel proud and haughty because you've never played less than 1440. <laughs> Did Uncle Elliot make this up all by himself? No, he copied it off Seabiscuit's memorial at Santa Anita. <laughs> He's a cute one, he is. Mother, did Daddy give you a Mother's Day present yet? No, not yet, honey. He's still upstairs getting dressed, but I can't wait to see what he got me. He always gets me something expensive. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with his foot on the rail. <laughs> How much could I buy that little cat? Oh, hi. <laughs> Hi, good morning, honey Oh, hello, darling So good to see you Even though you are empty-handed I... <laughs> oh, you're not empty-handed You have a bundle under your arm Is it for me? Yes, it is, dear What is it, darling? My dirty laundry, sweetheart <laughs> Bill, don't you know what today is? It's a very important occasion It's a day everybody celebrates 
It's the most important day of the year. It's the one day that Alice, you... Alice, say no more. Ooh, to think that I almost forgot my own birthday. <laughs> I'm 32 today. It's not your birthday. It's Mother's Day, and you forgot. Oh, no, 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 honey, I didn't forget. I just... Daddy, uh, didn't you buy Mother a present? A pre... Oh, of course I did. I got her a... Uh, uh, a lovely present it, It's a beautiful thing Oh, I'd like to see it Oh, uh, so would I I mean, um <laughs> No, honey, I'll show it to you in due time Phil, I can't wait Tell me, what is it? Well, it's, um, um It's See if you can guess Is it a fur coat? Is it a diamond ring? Is it a ruby bracelet? Is it a new car? When this kid guesses, she don't mess around <laughs> I'll bet you got me that string of cultured pearls That I've always wanted No, you still ain't hit... I better settle for that. The gal ain't gonna go no cheaper. <laughs> you guessed it, dear. It's the pearls. Oh, Phil, it's just what I wanted. Go get the pearls. Where are they? Well, I left them in the... Well, I got them... Oh, heavenly days. I almost forgot the other present that I got for you. This will make you forget the pearls. Another present? What is it, darling? My latest RCA Victor recording. Uh, what do you say to that? Get the pearls. <laughs> no, no, never mind. I'm going to play it for you right now, and you're going to love it. Listen. You get a line, and I'll get a pole, honey. You get a line, and I'll get a pole, babe. You get a line, and I'll get a pole, and we'll go down to the crawdad hole, honey, baby mine. Yonder come a man with a sack on his back, honey. Yonder come a man with a sack on his back, babe. Yonder come a man with a sack on his back. Got more crawdads than he can pack, honey, baby mine. Whoa, that man fell down to bust his sack, honey. That man fell down to bust his sack, babe. That man fell down to bust his sack Just watch them crawdads back and back On their baby mine I sell my crawdads three for a dime, honey I sell my crawdads three for a dime, babe I sell my crawdads three for a dime Ain't no crawdads as good as mine, honey mm, Baby mine What are you gonna do when you lose your pole, honey? What are you gonna do when you lose your pole, babe? What are you gonna do when you lose your pole? Just sit and look down that crawdad hole, honey, baby mine. What are you gonna do when the creek runs dry, honey? What are you gonna do when the creek runs dry, babe? What are you gonna do when the creek runs dry? Just sit and watch them crawdads die, honey, baby mine. Well, get up, Kate, you slept too late, honey. Now get up, Kate, you slept too late, babe. Well, get up, Kate, you slept too late. That craw, that man done passed your gate, honey. Baby, my... Well, honey, how'd you like that? I made it just for you. Here, I want you to have it, and I bet you that you play... Alice. Alice, where'd your mother go? She went to look for the pearls. Well, I've never been so insulted in all my life. <laughs> I made this record just for her, and she walks out on it. You'd think that the least... I'll get that. Well, if she don't like the record, I'll give it to somebody who appreciates my voice. Hiya, Curly. Oh, hi, Elliot. Hi, old buddy. I'm glad you got here because I got a present for you. Here you are. Thanks, Curly. This is something I've always wanted. A burnt flapjack. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Look, this is my latest RCA Victor recording and I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, this is my lucky day. To think this should happen to me, a poor barefoot guitar player. <laughs> You said that right <clears throat> Now I knew you'd appreciate my record I know it's something that you'd like to have And yet it's Well, it's something that you Wouldn't go out and buy for yourself 
No, I don't believe I would. <laughs> Hey, where's Alice? I want to wish her a happy Mother's Day Wait a minute, don't mention that I'm in enough trouble now I'm ashamed of myself I told Alice I bought her a string of pearls And I didn't Curly, you lied to your wife? On Mother's Day? Ain't a good day for lying, huh? <laughs> well, you should never lie to your wife Oh, I don't, I don't I always tell my wife the truth The whole truth and nothing <laughs> You didn't finish I ain't going or I'll be telling another lie <laughs> hey, Why don't you just go in and tell your wife you didn't get her the pearls? Well, I can't do that now She's all excited about them and I just can't let her down Where are you going to get a string of pearls on Sunday? Yeah, I never thought of that The stores are all closed today, huh? Mm -hmm. There must be some place I can pick up some pearls <clears throat> Hey, I know where Where? In that claw machine they got in the pool room <laughs> We work it right and tilt it just a little and kick it, bang it on the back. You know how you get it over like this? All right, Curly. Look, you can't get Alice a pearl necklace out of a claw machine. Why not? That's where I got her engagement ring. <laughs> it's a beautiful stone. Looks like a sparkling doorknob. No, I mean, you can't get her a cheap gift like that. Women know what good pearls look like. I know that, but where do I get them? I can't break into it. Hi, Miss Fat. Come over this. Hi, kid. Well, if it ain't the two dummies from the house of wax. <laughs> oh, it's Buona Devil, huh? <laughs> hey, Julius, don't you know you shouldn't be out on Mother's Day? Why not? If any woman sees you, it'll slow down motherhood to a walk. <laughs> this ain't what they're trying for. Oh, you're real jazzy today. <laughs> Tired jokes. Where's Miss Faye? What do you want her for? I want to show her this present I got me mother for Mother's Day. It's something Mom always wanted. What is it? A bust of me little head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a lovely gift. Don't you envy his mother, Curly? Yeah. That's like getting a five-pound box of wet liver. <laughs> Or maybe a low... How can you guys be so callous? How can you laugh at a little tyke like me who's trying to make his old mother happy with a bust of a little boy's head? Well, I'm sorry, kid, but I... Don't interrupt me when I'm being maudlin. <laughs> Mama loved this gift. At night when she's sitting home alone, she won't really be alone. Me little head will be there on the mantel. <laughs> and during the day when she's waking around the house, she can tuck it under her arm and carry it with her. <laughs> yeah, and it'll come in handy on cold nights. She can heat it up and use it as a bed warmer. <laughs> Kid, all right, kid. Don't get all worked up. Keep your apron on. Hey, what's in that package you got in the hand, the small one? Oh, that's me old man's gift to Mom. I just picked it up for him. what did he get her? Father bought Mother some coils. Oh. Uh -huh. Curly, did you hear what he said? Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, this is too good to be true. <laughs> and Julius has them with him. You know something? Hmm? We must lead a good life. Our fairy godmother's watching over us. <laughs> Shall we have a go at them? Leave us. Julius, um, those pearls you got there, are you sure they're pearls? What do you mean? Well, haven't you heard about the gang of counterfeit pearl dealers in town? What are you talking about? How can they counterfeit a pearl? They take tapioca and string it together. <laughs> Some cases, they use faded salmon eggs. <laughs> And uh, one dealer is using miniature matzo balls. <laughs> no. Yeah. Now, you'd better let me take a look at those pearls because I can tell you if they're phony. Don't bother. I insist. Give me them pearls. Get I'll... your southern fried meat hooks off of this earth. <laughs> look, Julius, I got to have the pearls. Just let me borrow them for a while. What? Well, I told my wife that I bought her a string of pearls, but I didn't. So just lend me yours for ten minutes. I'll let Alice see them, and then I'll find something wrong with them, take them back, and return them to you. 
Then tomorrow, I'll go out and buy her another string, and the whole thing will have a happy, beautiful ending. What do you think of my idea, kid? It ain't bad. If we can do it in Technicolor and get Rita Hayward to play the lead, we'll have another Salome on our hands. <laughs> Cut it out, will you? Alice has her heart set on getting the pearls, and if you don't do this for me, she'll be brokenhearted. Well, I don't want to see Miss Faye Height, so I'll do it. Good boy. Now, let me have the pearls. Hey, uh, but remember, I want them back right after she sees them. Okay, you'll get them back. Now, look, you two guys can help me get them back. She'll probably try the pearls on, and when she does, you tell her they're not the right style for her. Gotcha, Curly. Remember, no horsing around. I want me pearls back You'll fast. get them. You'll get them. I'll call Alice. Hey, Alice, will you come in here a minute? I'll be right in. Now, look, fellas, don't knock the pearls. I don't want her to think that they're cheap. Tell her they're beautiful, but they're too bulky for her neck. Oh, Phil. Phil, I've looked all over the house for those pearls, and I can't find them. I don't think you got them for me. Tut, 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 my dear, tut. I have them right here in this package. Here you are, and happy Mother's Day. Oh, Phil, you did get them for me. I'll bet they're beautiful. Yeah, but they don't look good on you. Give them back. Wait till she opens them. (laughs) (laughs) Open it up, honey. I can't wait to see these pearls. I, I, oh, Phil, they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. They're exquisite. If you don't like them, take them back. <laughs> what I do, I do. It's just what I wanted. You had them long enough. Give them back. Will you shut up? <laughs> Alice, they look all right in the box, but how are they going to look on you? Well, we'll soon find out. I'll put them on. There. How'd they look? I don't know. They don't look right. There's something wrong. Don't you think so, Elliot? Definitely. You mean the, the pearls don't look good? The pearls look great, but your neck is too bulky. <laughs> I got that in smoothly, didn't I, Curly? Oh, yes, yes. You're a splendid cohort to have. Well, thank you. <laughs> Alice, what the flat top means is uh, your neck is too slender for such a bulky necklace. He's right, Miss Faye. It don't look good. Take it off. Oh, nonsense. I just looked in the mirror and it looked beautiful. Phil, I love these pearls. And it was sweet of you to buy them for me. I'll wear them always. I'll never take them off. (laughs) What's the matter with him? I don't know. Maybe his tongue got caught in his braces. I don't know. (laughs) Julius, will you stop crying already? Don't be crying around here. Stop crying, he says. Here it is, Mother's Day, and me poor old mother will be walking around with an empty neck. What do you mean, his mother's empty neck? She was expecting a new Adam's apple, but it didn't arrive. (laughs) Miss Faye, will you please take that necklace off? No, I won't. I like it. Oh, Phil, come over here a minute, dear. I want to give you a great big kiss for buying me this necklace. Mm. Mmm. My old man ain't gonna like this. <laughs> Why not? He paid for the necklace and Ham Hog gets the smooches. <laughs> you guys better get the necklace back or I'm gonna tell Miss Faye. All right, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. Uh, Curly, will you join us for a moment, please? Yeah, I'll be right there. Excuse me, honey. Keep your motor running. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys want? I want me necklace and I want it now. But Alice won't take it off. I think I know a way to get it off without her knowing about it. How? It isn't commonly known, but at one time I was quite famous for my sleight of hand. I was known for my finger finesse and digit dexterity. What does that mean? Used to be a pickpocket. <laughs> I could slide it off her neck She wouldn't even know it was missing If I can just get my arms around Alice Hey, I got it I'll dance with her Alice, shall we dance? Well, I don't know what you're talking about But I don't want to dance I see you'd rather sit this one out Shall we go out on the terrace? There's a full moon, my dear No, you could... don't Just dance <laughs> I'll put a record on Go ahead, dance with them, honey All right And while we're dancing Why don't you close your eyes? Bend your neck over my shoulder <laughs> and sing to me. All right. You'll never know just how much I miss you. You'll never know just how much I. 
Thank you, Alice. I trust you enjoyed our dance. Oh? Is that what we were doing? <laughs> I thought we were having a potato race. <laughs> Are you insinuating that I'm not a good dancer? I didn't say that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to go inside, depart on my nose, and change my feet. <laughs> oh, my poor toes. I think he's a shill for Dr. Scholl. <laughs> Did I hear her say skull? <laughs> what am I, an orphan or something? You know. Hey, Elliot, how'd you make out? I had trouble with the clasp. I couldn't get it open. You mean you didn't get the necklace? No, but I got her earrings, wristwatch, and engagement ring. <laughs> Give me those things. Okay. Can I keep this gold crown from her pivot tooth? <laughs> I think I heard enough I'm going to tell Miss Faye and get my pearls Now, wait a minute, kid Give me a little more time There must be some way we can get those pearls off her without her knowing it We could do it if she were unconscious But she ain't unconscious A mere detail <laughs> Hand me that bottle of champagne A glancing blow at the base of the skull No <laughs> Why not? I ain't going to launch my wife on Mother's Day <laughs> Besides, that's expensive champagne. Then hit her with a bottle of ketchup. <laughs> Anything so I get the piles back. We ain't hitting my wife with nothing. Maybe when she goes to sleep tonight, I can sneak them. You mother and... can't wait till your wife falls asleep to get her... Sleep? That's it. I'll put it to sleep. How? I'll hypnotize her. Oh, let's not get hokey now. It ain't hokey. I took a correspondence course in hypnotism and I can do it. Call Miss Faye in and I'll prove it to you. All right, all right. It's worth a try. I got to see this. Alice, will you come in here a minute? You sure you can work this, kid? It's a cinch. It's just a question of concentration, of a stronger mind forcing its will on a weaker mind. With this power, I can... You want to see me, Phil? No, I want to see you, Miss Faye. Now then, stand in front of me and gaze deeply into me beady little eyes. <laughs> 
it's all about. Quiet, please. Your master is at work. Now concentrate. This is getting tired. This is getting weary. This is getting sleepy. I is. <laughs> this is fighting me. <laughs> now just relax your mind and go to sleep. 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 <laughs> Huh? What? <laughs> Time to get up already, huh? <laughs> oh, gee, I had a good night's sleep. Mr. Harris! Alice, what's Julius doing in bed with her? <laughs> Why did I bother to wake him up? Where was I? Oh, yeah. Miss Faye, I was trying to put you to sleep. Well, why are you trying to put me to sleep? So I can get those poils back. They belong to me mother. Julius! So this isn't my present. Here, Julius, take the poils back to your mother. <laughs> As for you, Phil Harris, don't you ever talk to me again. Well, I'm sorry, honey. Tomorrow I'll go out and get you the biggest string of pearls you ever saw. I don't care. You will? And will you also get me that fur coat and that diamond ring and that ruby bracelet, will you? Will you? Will you? Well, why don't you answer me? You told me never to talk to you again, and this seems like a good time to stop. <laughs> Back in just a moment. Whether you're bound for a vacation in the great out of doors or just relaxing around the house, the perfect companion is RCA Victor's powerful portable radio, the Globe Trotter. At home or away, the Globe Trotter puts all your favorite programs right at your fingertips. It brings in stations far beyond the range of ordinary portables. Yet it's so light and compact you can take it with you wherever you go. The RCA Victor Globe Trotter also is an ideal second radio for your home. It operates not only on batteries, but on AC or DC current too. Tune in your favorite programs while you work. Let the children enjoy the Globe Trotter in their own room. Or put the Globe Trotter on your bedside table. Its handsome dove gray case fits in beautifully anywhere. But whether you use this radio indoors or out, you'll get full volume and crystal clear tone. For the Globe Trotter has RCA Victor's famous Golden Throat Tone System. First chance you get, drop into your RCA Victor dealers and take home the versatile Globe Trotter portable radio. And remember, for finest performance, have your dealer install RCA batteries. They're radio engineered for extra listening hours. Folks, this is Phil again. You can help your local school system in its great expansion program if you'll join and work with local civic groups and school boards actively seeking to improve educational conditions. Remember, education molds our future. Better schools build a stronger America. Thanks and good night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> If you're the proud owner of one of the new design personal portables, such as the RCA Victor Super Personal, you can enjoy up to 10 times the playing performance of old style personal type portables without a change of batteries. The secret is in the remarkable new long playing RCA radio batteries. But remember, no matter what kind of portable you own, you can enjoy top performance and extra listening hours with powerful RCA radio batteries. They cost no more. The Harris Face Show is transcribed. Next, hear Theater Guild on the air over NBC.